Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're the Spooky, spooky booze. booze. I'm going to be honest for this location since you started telling me about it, and it's taken you a long time to make this happen. <laughs> well, we were at Rancho's Los Cerritos. The history here goes back to the 1800s, the mid-1800s. It was a cattle ranch, and then it was a sheep ranch. It was families' homes. It housed and employed over 40 to 50 people at one mm -hmm. point so definitely a lot of history and a lot of activity oh yeah this place is extremely haunted it is one of the most haunted places in long beach there's so much history here too much for us to tell so maybe we just take a little tour of the place hi i'm mallory rydell i work here at rancho los cerritos historic site in long beach california I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the rancho and a little bit of some spooky stuff in there as well. But firstly, I'd like to read our land acknowledgement. Ranch Los Cerritos is located on the ancestral lands of the Tongva Gabrielino people, who are the past, present, and future caretakers of the Los Angeles Basin and the Southern Channel Islands. We honor and extend our respects to the many indigenous people who call these lands home. When Spain was settling California, a large portion of land was given to a Spanish soldier. This basically encompassed almost all of the Los Angeles basin. A little bit was taken to be uh, Mission San Gabriel, but he got a huge chunk, like hundreds of thousands of acres. When um, he passed, it went to his six children, and they mm -hmm. broke it up into six different ranchos. Rancho Los Cerritos became a 27,000 acre parcel and was eventually sold off by that family to a man named John Temple. He was a shop owner in Los Angeles, kind of like a merchant, and he wanted to get into the very lucrative cattle ranching business. So he wanted to um, raise cattle and then sell them for their hides and their um, tallow, which is their fat that was used to make like soap and candles. And back then, there really wasn't like a beef tray, like you, you ate what you could, but there was uh -huh. no refrigeration, so it was usually just the skins and the tallow. So he had this adobe home built in 1844. He didn't live here, he kind of used the two-story part of the um, property as like his vacation house whenever he was mm -hmm. visiting. And this first room that we're going to go into at the rancho is called the foreman's room, and it harkens back to that cattle ranching history. Basically in this room, this is a kind of an encapsulation of what um, one of the living spaces would have been for the ranch hands, the vaqueros. One person that had the biggest job at the ranch was um, the foreman, so he was the one that was basically like in charge of the whole site. Mattress would have been made of straw. Oh. And then his bed frame was made of ropes, so if you <gasps> ever heard of um, the phrase um, sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite yeah sleep tight means if you've been sleeping on these ropes for a while they might have gotten like loose with time oh. so you just re-tighten your bed ropes so you're sleeping tight one spooky story about the cattle ranching time is that there was an, a ranch hand in the 30s as an older gentleman he would tell stories to his family members and such and he said that there was a an old legend that there was a stream or a creek or a river in this area where um, sometimes at dusk you could hear um, horses mm -hmm. running through the river but there was no horses so you could hear basically spectral horses. This next room we're going to go into encapsulates a time period after the cattle ranching period. He sold the property to a company called the Flint and Bixby Company and it was run by four cousins. They bought the property and turned it into a sheep ranch, which was a, was a pretty easy flip-flop because they needed all the rooms for the ranch hands for the um, different people working on the property, but it was just sheep instead of cattle. The Bixby brothers, one of the brothers moved his entire family here and they lived in the house. So children, wives, Jotham and his family lived here instead of being like Mr. Temple where he lived elsewhere and uh -huh. came to visit. So they had to hire staff to help them with their domestic work. So this is the laundry room and we're going to see how they did their laundry. These so. objects are touchable? Yes. What are they? <laughs> That's Matthew's dream. I know. <laughs> these are ones. Yeah, so these? These guys, yeah. So these little packets, um, you would put these bluing pellets inside of like a sachet and uh -huh. then you would drop this sachet into your laundry. The dye in the bluing packets would, would wipe out 
or cancel out if you know color theory, oh, yeah. anything that like had yellowed on your white clothes. It's like oh. bleach. <laughs> they were cooking and cleaning for upwards of 45 people at a time. Because <laughs> they, the Bixby's had guests and they had staff and they had themselves and all that stuff. So when the sheep were ready to be shorn, there were traveling troves of shearers that would come and they traveled in little groups and they were like, okay, it's time. Mm -hmm. And you can see they got really creative with yeah. their, with taking photos. This guy has like Edward Shear hands. <laughs> Edward oh my Shear gosh. hands. <laughs> and then there's another guy, I think you have to find it, but there's one guy that's doing like bunny shears. Right there. So they were a goofy bunny bunch. Bunny shears. <laughs> yeah. And then if you pan around behind you, that is a big giant bag of sheep milk. <gasps> can and I that, touch it? Yes. I know, I want to touch it too. I saw and it right you can from feel there. it. It feels like really greasy. And that's the, that's the natural oil that occurs in sheep wool. It's called lanolin. That's so weird. It feels um, totally greasy, but then your fingers yeah, feel but then it's like it's the it's it's moisturizing though. It's like mm -hmm. so interesting. So we do have confirmed evidence that this was the original blacksmith shop, or at least part of it. Um, you can tell by the windows because mm -hmm. they're shaped like cones. The cones were meant to funnel the smoke out of the room but also let in a controlled amount of light because it's very important with smithing to be able to see the color of the forge and the color of the metal as it's being forged. So um, if it's not the right temperature, it's not going to be the right color and it's not going to be the malleableness that you need in order to create that product. So if you're doing horseshoes, etc. So. I don't know how they figured all this stuff out back then. And that is a, a sharpening wheel, wheel that you pedal like a bicycle and it turns the wheel so that you can sharpen your blade on it. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I have the little oh seat. Gosh. The Bixby's really got into land development. So they got into leasing out big plots of land of the 27,000 acres to other farmers or small little housing developments. There was a failed attempt to build a city called Wilmore City. <laughs> but um, the housing tracks that he had designed kind of still were there. And the Long Beach Oil Company picked up his plans and kind of said, hey, Joe, can we maybe turn it into our city? And so Long Beach started no kind of popped up. So a lot of downtown um, parts of Compton and um, other areas um, adjacent to this area are all Rancho Los Cerritos land and they were leased out to become the, the wow. towns that they are now. The rancho kind of became like an apartment building. During that time when people were living here, the Bixby's weren't as involved. They were, they were, you know, kind of keeping up the site because they were landlords, but there really wasn't a lot of like preservation going on. So the house did start to kind of fall into a little bit of a disrepair. And by the late 1920s, um, Jotham Bixby's nephew, Llewellyn Bixby, we call him senior, but he's actually the second. He had um, approached his uncle and said, I would like to buy the rancho because I want to live here with my family. So he bought the rancho for $1. And back then in 1929, that was a lot. Oh, um, no. He bought the rancher for a dollar, and then he spent about 25000 more dollars, which in this economy would have been millions of dollars, um, on renovating the property as the way you see it now. So this room that we're standing in, which we call the sun porch, um, was added on to the rancho. So you can see the bars on these windows here are from the cattle ranching and sheep ranching days because you had to protect the inside of your building with bars. Um, you can also see here, we, we believe that this is um, damage from horses being tied up to the bars and nibbling on the wood. <laughs> so he turned this room into their library, so we're going to go in the library. Um, so this is the library. This is where the family would have hung out, kind of like their den, you know. The Bixby family was big on education, even their women were educated, so this is like a huge thing. They were like, we want to just absorb all the knowledge, mm -hmm. we want you to be well read, all that stuff, so library, big thing. This is Jotham Bixby. Oh. <laughs> there he is. The father of Long Beach. The father of Long Beach himself. <laughs> Jotham Bixby's father-in-law. His name was um, Reverend Hathaway. He was a reverend back in Maine. The uh, <laughs> His eyes definitely follow. I mean, that's so insane. Um, but he uh, was rumored to be involved in the Underground Railroad. 
uh, just a nice guy. <laughs> we love the reverend. Love um, him. He did um, occupy this space as his bedroom when he lived here um, nice. on the property. But, nice room. Um, we it was once when he passed. They turned you know when they came in in the thirties. They came kind of took his space and turned it into the library. Nice room. Um, we <laughs> was once when he when he passed. They turned, you know, when they came in in the thirties, they came, kind of took his space and turned it into the library. So, are there any uh, reported deaths on the property? Yes, we do know of one child that passed away, and we can cover her um, when we go upstairs. Um, okay. One of the Bixby um, children did pass away here, um, and it was from an illness. So, was yeah. it from like a like tuberculosis or like pneumonia or something? I don't know exactly what it was, but she was an infant, so she was very young. But yeah, we can cover her up. Okay. This is the dining room. I would imagine if someone were to do a sandwich in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Over a nice meal. Over a nice meal. <laughs> you can see our high chair. Um, this is a cool piece because back then, like I said, they were very practical. They liked pieces of, they liked furniture and things that doubled as something else because then you didn't have to have two things, you only had one. So this also doubles as a stroller. Oh, what? I see see the oh. Uh, this is a little bit of a sad piece. Um, this is a baby bottle. And as you can see, they were pretty genius about it. It's a glass bottle. And then it had rubber tubing and went to a nipple and you could, um, you could like let the baby yeah. drink from it. But as we've kind of talked about, they weren't very bit, like up on what germs could do. And so a lot of times these bottles didn't get cleaned properly. Oh. And so then you were in introducing pathogens to mm -hmm. the milk or um, the baby. And so this th they used to call these death bottles. Oh. Um, so now we're gonna go upstairs. Watch your step, please. The stairs are very irregular. Okay. Um, this is one of the only indoor staircases in an adobe building. Um, Mr. Temple was also from New England, so he wanted a little bit of comforts from home when he built this um, house, even though he didn't live here. Um, so he commissioned this indoor staircase. <laughs> he had to import this wood um, from the East Coast and Back then, adobes were usually single story, and if they were two story, the staircase was outdoors. So this is kind of a, a neat thing about this rancho mm -hmm. is that we have um, this indoor staircase. Oh, the balcony. This is the balcony, and I do have a couple of stories about this balcony. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So, it's huge. It's massive. There like have been a few times where People have been underneath this balcony on the veranda and oh. big footsteps. Sometimes it looks like there's someone up here when there's not. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's just trick of the light or whatever, but people have reported that. It reminds me of Cosmopolitan. Me too. <laughs> Tilted. Andre, do you have any spooky stories? Yeah, just a little bit similar one where I heard a woman humming uh, by the kitchen area. It was like a Christmas Eve, and it was in the morning too, and I, I was alone. I know I was by myself because it was Christmas Eve, everybody was on vacation, and I heard a woman humming, but it was like a happy humming. It wasn't something mm -hmm. like she was spooky. like cooking Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how it felt like, and it didn't feel like spooked out, so. Oh, there's a raccoon right there. Oh my god, where? Right there. <gasps> I love raccoons, wow. but not that one. He looks like he wants to kill us. Is it on the ground? He's standing right there. Hello, sir. Go on, hey, get, get, get. Shoo. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh, he's got something. He found something. He gets run up on by wild animals sometimes. I do. There he is. Where? He's over by the tree. Oh, he's on oh. the tree. There. Oh, there's a family maybe? There's one on the ground? There's a family. <laughs> it's okay. We're just passing by. We're just gonna go in here, don't mind us. This is the garage, well we call it the garage because 
at one point it would have been a garage for um, the family, but it has now become a conference room. <laughs> okay. Also, when we have weddings, this is where the bride and groom hang out until the ceremony starts. So I'm in here a lot at night locking up. So um, I was here one night, I think it was a wedding, and I was locking up. I was making sure that these two double doors were locked. Normally what I do is I walk in from this way, come around through this door, and then come over here and check the doors like this. And as I was as I was locking the doors, I heard very distinctly like coming up behind me. And I, I I like was like, no, this is there's no one here. I'm the only person here. There's no one behind me. So I looked out like this to make sure that uh -huh. like there wasn't like something someone running yeah. up. And there was no one there. And it stopped as soon as it got to me, and I never heard it again. <laughs> and I turned around, there was absolutely no one here, there was no one outside, but I heard someone running, like like they were running to... to oh like, my to gosh. Or something. That is terrifying. And, but it has not made me not want to be here at night, it's just, okay. it's just one of those, I think it's like an echo or something. Yeah. We covered all the bases pretty I much? I think we've covered okay. everything that I've got that oh, I know of. Beautiful. So now that we know all the facts, we're going to get straight into investigating and we're going to start out in the giant, well, I don't even want, know what you'd call a banquet hall. Or yeah, just kind of the heart yeah. of the house where a lot of the activity would have been, people going in and out. So I think we either got to start there or the sunroom, but the room that we're going is adjacent to the sunroom. Right. So it should be perfect. All right, let's go. So this is the two-story living room. This uh, was originally a whole upper floor and they took it out in the 1930s to make this um, kind of like an illusion of vaulted ceilings. Llewellyn and his wife Avis loved to entertain so they really had like a lot of parties. They even installed this little balcony up there um, because in the 30s it was great fun to have like instrumental music playing so they mm -hmm. could have the band up there as to not take away space for the <laughs> The dancing and the revelry downstairs. I just want to point out how painstakingly they restored this room because they had to take scrapings of the wall to get the original colors. They had to go in and clean this entire brickwork of the hearth with a, a, the babyest toothbrush. Oh. And then anything that was discolored, they went in and hand painted it to make it look like original brick. Wow. And then the same thing with the ceiling. They had there were areas that were damaged and uh, the restoration company came in and repainted the wood grain on them. No way. It looks amazing. Oh. This is a very special room because it happened within the last couple of years. So yeah. That's super cool. We really? Like the entire time during the tour, I was like, how are you guys not hearing the people talking? Oh, I was, were you we hearing a man? Yeah. I was hearing... And the knocks and the... I was hearing that for sure. She sounds like people are here living, you know? Like, these are just noises. So I would... That might be them. It's a woman feels. You're right. I'm not because that was a woman's Yeah, no, it was for sure. You're right. So, like, she walked from that end of the house through here. It's a little scarier with the lights off. So I want to introduce myself to the spirits of the Adobe. Because I haven't been here. Okay. Since you have since Mackie has. My name's Amanda. My name's Mackie. I drove a long way to come visit this house in this adobe. Mackie's been here many times to come visit. I have. this set up. Sorry, I was looking at somebody that was on the balcony. Someone was up there. Right, yeah. Did you yeah. see him yeah. on the right side? I saw like a shadow really quick, like out of the corner of my eye. He was literally kind of near the door. We have some devices and other stuff that we brought along with us that should make it easier for you to make yourself known. So we're going to set those up and if you want to have a conversation, that's the time. I just saw a flash of light. Where? On the roof. Almost not like completely to the roof, but pretty much right above where you're standing. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think we for sure need to set up a music box in here. Oh, that's a great idea. As she said, there's 
a lot of music that would be played in here, a lot of dancing and having fun. How do we fix our music box? How do we fix our music box? I don't know, it worked out one day for like 30 minutes. Towards the, towards the bottom staircase, maybe? Please fix it. <laughs> No. Disappointment is in my eyes. Somebody just walked in that from that sunroom. Where? From that sunroom, like okay. in and to the right. Alright, well everyone's welcome in here. If you would like to step in front of this little box, we have a place down. We'll play a sound. We have a place down. We'll play a sound. If you'd like to step in front of this little box, we have a place down. It will play a sound. Just like that. Alright, if that was a spirit who just set that off and walked in front of me, can you do it one more time? Hmm. Sound like a voice. You're all more than welcome in here. We have some more equipment we can set up too. I'll take a couple if you see one. <laughs> no, don't don't buy one. That's a me. Uh, it went on for so long after you passed by. It did go for so long, actually. Do you think that it's just trying to disguise itself at the same time as me? Maybe. Because I'm not moving. Come behind the doorway. Oh, what? That's not me. You're right, it's not you. That's not you. No, it's not. This thing's a lot. Okay, this is gonna be. Okay, that's crazy, that was not you. Yeah, okay, you can see how long it lasted for me. It stopped immediately. There's no way. Okay, maybe not. If that's a spirit making this REM pod go off right there, can you step away from it? Could you step over here by Mackie and I? Could you make it stop, please? In three... Two, should I give you 15 seconds? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, four three, 2, two 1. It's constant. No. Wait. What the heck? Alright, I'm sorry. I have to restart this one. I'm resetting this one too. Let's see. That could have been you. I don't know for sure, but. It is. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's coming back over here. Somebody's here with us right now. I feel like there's definitely a woman. Really? Oh, yeah, I know that there's a woman. So, before we came here today, we were leaving. It just looked like a red light in there. That was weird. But before you came here today, you told me that you saw a woman in your yard. Yes. Before you go into detail on her, do you think she's from here? Yeah, I do. Have you seen her here? Not yet. All right, well, to the woman Amanda saw earlier at her house. Wherever you are right now, could you come join us? I did, I did, I heard that. Could you set off any of the devices that we've placed down? Or speak into the device in Mackie's hand? 
Yes, that's right. Oh, did you hear that? That was loud. Like something dragging up there. Like <laughs> Stairs. Someone coming down the stairs. Thank you. Could you tell us your name? You can sit here, sit here right under this little black box I'm holding my hand. If you pin the name like Anna or Anna. Uh huh. Did you hear like that? Yeah, the end of that. Violate. Hmm. Do you feel like we're violating your space? Set off one of these devices and that's what. There was again. What's that grabbing noise? Are you okay with us being here? You can set off any of our devices. I just saw a flash again. I don't know. Were you a member of this family? If you were part of the Bixby family, could you... It just looked like a white flash in the doorway. That's pretty much what I've been seeing. It's like white flashes. It looked like really quick, just like a whoosh. Escape. So to speak. Hmm. We have that red light up there. It's called a red pod. I just heard a door creak. Really? Yeah. To the woman who's here with us, can you... Sh What did it sound like? It sounded like a little twig of ooh, and then like a... Oof. Like something like that. Is there somewhere else we should go instead? I might set the round pot over there. That's cool. Okay. That's like where I would think. If someone was in the library, Set that room pod right there on the floor. You just have to go up to the antenna. Did you hear that? Yeah, it was not me. It all sounded like it came from over there, right? Will you trigger that room pod? Will you trigger that room pod? Will you trigger that room pod? Was crazy. I know. Do we start in here or do we move in here? Yeah. Because this is where a lot of people have had crazy experiences or heard crazy things she said, right? Yeah, I think we should. So the sun porch, there's been a, a few staff and volunteer visitor reports that of just like whistling, of um, noises like mumbling, things like that. Um, one of our staff members um, was here by themselves and they thought they heard another staff member whistling at them and there was no one here. Um, so just stuff like that. This room's a little bit, got a little bit more going on. Okay. It's interesting that this was a later addition and yet it's still one of the most active. Mock. Mock? It's a mock. 
Hopefully you don't feel like we're mocking you. Should we bring the REM pod out here? Sure, I was actually going to put one right at that door for him too. Okay. I'm going to put this right here. Please stop it all right. Okay. Did you reset it yet? I just turned it on right now. The kettle's going off. Oh, oh, oh. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, there it goes again. Do you still have the phone? Get away from here. What? Maybe we need to introduce ourselves again. My name's Amanda. I'm Mackie. We're just here to talk to you. We mean no harm. We love your home. Flash or Kepal. Oh constant. my god. In one of the older parts of the house. Ow, I'm getting really bad back pain all of a sudden. Really? Yeah. There's a man in this room. He's the most prominent. Where is he? He's in that doorway of right there in the library. Would you be... There he goes again. If you're the man, can you tell us your name? Speak into this spirit box. I have the name that starts with an R. R? Okay. Would you, would you be able to set off that cap ball that's in the doorway right there? Or this REM pod right here on the ground, this red light? Cap ball again? What the heck? It's constant. That's where the horse nibbled. If you're a horse. Oh, oh. Are you, if you're a horse, make the REM pod go off. That was... No, that was a knock. Mm hmm. You can communicate with us through Knox as well, if that's what you easier. Yeah, if that's what you prefer. Can you set off the cat ball again to confirm if you're a man? That's the device in the windowsill. What? Oh, find my body. Hello, I can make PBGs. Are you buried here? Is someone buried here? Okay, that was you. That scared me. Is someone's buried here? Can you set off any of these devices? The cap on the window or the doorway? The REM pod on the ground? Or that music box over here on the ground? The... Who's the man that used this as a summer home? I forget his name. I feel like they're here. Really? Uh -huh. Shadows move. Shadows move? And that's what you've been saying all night, and a lot of people have seen shadows in the windows and moving around in There's here. Non stop shadow people here. Can you tell us more about yourself, more than that you're a shadow person? Can you uh, do something to confirm that you are the Family that used to vacation here, that owned this as a ranch place, as a ranch place. <laughs> this is a ranch house. That library. Will you give us a sign that you're still here with us? The crazy that the cat ball has just stopped. I know. Like, so it's clearly not the cat ball. I guess it's not the cat ball issue. Yeah. And then you have to run the car. Should we do that right now? Yes. Okay, let's set the camera here. Couldn't you this out You've got to go. Literally the second you said we need to run the car. You've got to go. Okay. Should I get set? Yeah. That's me. That's us. Doctor.
Thompson. It said Doctor and Thompson. What? Well, I had a doctor from the center. Oh, that's not you. Yes, it was. It was? Yeah. It, are you sure? No. <laughs> I'm not. It's not anymore. I wonder if someone just followed us in. Apart for the hole. What is it? Apart for the hole. A part for the hole. I don't understand. <laughs> what? I move things? Can you move something for us? Oh. oh my god. It's like every time we walk through that door, something goes off. Can you step away, please? That's very good. I have this device right here that I'm going to set up right now called, well, it's called a flashlight. There's someone right next to you. Really? Yeah, 100%. That's exactly the direction that they were. How did you know which side that they were? I felt a little... Like, honestly, that sounds weird, but it feels a little warm. That's like, crazy. This side of the world feels warmer. That's not weird at all. That's exactly how I work with spirits sometimes and with energies. Uh-huh. It feels warmer. Hello. Like when I do tarot. Like when I do tarot? Hello. Like when I do tarot? Hello. Like when I do tarot? I don't do tarot, but when when I do. Shout out Maddie. Shout out to Maddie. So there's a woman right here? Or um it's actually like a child height. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Hi. Kiss your name here, my name's Maddie. My name's Amanda. Would you be able to come touch this flashlight? If you're... Yeah. We're going to play a little game, actually. It's uh, kind of like 20 questions. But we're going to ask you 20 questions. Oh. If that's something you'd be willing to do, can you go up and touch that flashlight that Miss Mackie set on the floor right there? This is a little device right here. Mackie, I'll show you how to do it. Can you turn it off? Ooh, can you turn it back on? Someone said it, a kid said it won't. It won't. What? Can you touch it one more time, Mackie? Okay. Can you turn it off, please? Grace. 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 Is that the little girl that's here? It turned off. <laughs> Is your name Grace? That's our first question. Is your name Grace? Can you turn that flashlight on? All you have to do is put energy into it. You can take energy from that light right over there. We'll give you 15 seconds between each question. Your name is not Grace. Mm -hmm. So your name is something else. Can you go and turn that pink flashlight on? Red. Awkward. Red one. That red flashlight on? Just that flashlight. Mm -hmm. Flashlight, it's not Grace. Can you tell us what your name is? Speak into the... Yes. Okay, that's our third buried. question. What is it? Buried. We'll just ignore it. Oh, no, I asked if someone was buried here. Oh. If someone was buried here. What the heck? Yeah. Are you buried? Is someone buried here? Would you be able to tell Amanda your name? She's is it... Does it start with an L? I'm very lonely here. Mm -hmm. Well, people come and see you all the time. Oh, that might have been me. That might have been me. People come and see you all the time. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Do you like that? Do you like when other people come here? People don't come to see her. Oh. People come to see the house. Is that how? You, is that how you're feeling? Turn on the flashlight. That's how you feel. Oh my God. Yeah. 
Who doesn't want to hear? Who doesn't want to hear the CUs right now? Do you like that we came to see you specifically? I was gonna ask another question. That's fine. Oh. She, yes. Okay. Did your family stay here? Did your fam yes, turned off. So you said seventeen. So your family did stay here. Would you be able to tell us if they stayed here, like at what point they stayed here, at what year? I can't believe that other cat ball hasn't gone off at all. I know. But it, if someone just is next to Death is not the end. Death is not the end? That's exactly what they said. Flashlight. Flashlight. We're aware. But thank you for telling everyone else. Have you been here for a while? Since you passed away? Something's definitely touching my hair. I'm playing with my hair. I was about to say something's definitely pushing on my back at the exact same time you really? said that. Yeah, I swear. Are you touching us? Are you throwing that flashlight right there if you're touching us? I heard something just like do This what? sounds so weird because it's not something a child would say. But it was just like use your questions wisely. He was the oh, wisely. What? The word wisely that threw me. Like, Maybe like it's to conserve the energy, like, take and secrets. What did that just say? Graveyards hide secrets? Why does he keep talking about burial? Flashlight. I feel like there's two different spirits here for sure. One of them is and the trickster and trying to get us to... Or it's something from the graveyard that we talked about going to. Or Sunnyside Cemetery. Sunnyside Cemetery. <laughs> if you're from Sunnyside Cemetery, could you set off either of our cat balls? The cat balls are these little balls, one right there, one in the window seal, and all you have to do is make them light up, put energy into it, tap it. If you're from... That was not me, I've been here for a long time. Are you from, from Sunnyside Cemetery? Do you know what haunts me? Did you hear my voice? Yes, we've heard your voice. I just got the coldest breeze that I need. Do you know what haunts Sunnyside? I think it's a woman. Okay. Is the child still here with us? Yes, but they're gonna step back because there's something someone older here. I feel like it's a respect thing. Is there a reason that you don't want them to answer our questions? Maybe move your foot just to be safe. Okay. <laughs> the flashlight too. All right, never mind. Well, if we want to talk to the kid, maybe we have to go Upstairs. up to the kid's room. I was going to say the same thing. Because that's who I'm most... It sounded like a kid's voice. Yeah, it sounded like rumbling. Yes. That's who I'm most concerned with, the kid. Are you upstairs? Can you turn on the flashlight? Or... I hear whistling, I keep hearing whistling. Okay, wait, I'm thinking maybe we go upstairs, talk to the kid, we set up Boo Buddy in like a spirit box. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this is the children's room. This was one of the apartment building areas, oh. and we have a very special story of um, a married couple that lived in these rooms in the 1920s. Concepcion Carnado and uh, Manuel Liera, they met here. Their families were living on different parts of the rancho, and then they met, and then they got married, and they lived in this area. So um, we love them. They, they have contributed a lot of the oral histories that we have. This doll, though. 
dog. Yeah. Um, <laughs> pop in there. Yeah, okay. Like, stories about the dog. Okay. So, uh, we interpret this room mostly as Harry Bixby's room, so he would have been um, Llewellyn Bixby from the 1930s uh, older cousin. This is the room that people have reported the most activity in. People have seen um, what they thought was like someone in the window while they were downstairs outside and no one was up here. Just kind of stuff like that. Just like not mm -hmm. feeling like you're the only one here. Okay. Um, so this is kind of the room that has the most going on. Um, and this is the, the master bedroom. So this is where um, the parents would have stayed. This is a huge bedroom. I know, right? You can see the bassinet there for um, the daughter that did pass. And because I think she passed in April, so... And after April every year, we put her memorial picture out. Once the new year starts, we, we put it away, and then after April, we bring okay. it back out. So it's kind of like a, a nod. Yeah. So you guys actually know, like, history about the girl who passed away We here. do have, um, we do still have descendants that we're in touch with from the oh. Bixby family. So we do have a little bit of information, um, and they kept really good records. Um, there is a book um, that you can buy called Adobe Days that was written by Harry Bixby's cousin, so Llewellyn's sister. Um, her name is Sarah Bixby and she wrote her recollections of growing up here at the rancho. This is the fancy chocolate <laughs> pot. <laughs> oh gosh. And then you have the his and hers vanities, so hers, his. <laughs> As it should be. As it should be. <laughs> This old thing, you would put hot coals from the fire in it, and then it would warm your bed. Oh, um, that's nice. Yeah, maybe a little dangerous. Yeah, true. They did interesting oh. things with art, so this is all, like, dried flower or hair. Oh. <laughs> so imagine you're, like, brushing your hair. <gasps> you're not going to touch it because it's hair. Oh! Imagine you were brushing your hair and you saved every little bit oh, that came out. Can't. And then you could use it to like make art or you could stuff your pillow with it or you could make a no. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the most active room is that sunroom. Really? Yeah, that's where we're getting the most activity yeah. for sure. Oh, cool. Well, that's where the whistling was. Wait, I heard the whistling. Yeah, she heard yeah, whistling. Was yes. But it, was, it wasn't like continual, like somebody was whistling a tune or humming a tune. It was just like, and then it would be quiet. And then, and I was like, oh my gosh, I that's, hear it. Oh my gosh, I hear it. I hear the whistling. Okay, the child's room. Should we do the children's room or the big room where the child would have passed away? Either one. They said they get the most stuff in here, like feelings and whatnot, but we can do it. Let's do it in there. Okay, okay. Super careful. They take the entire display down. I would actually <laughs> get involved. Like, that would be. <laughs> oh no. That would the be bed just funny. collapses. Yes, that's terrifying. Oh, that is disturbing. I'm cursed now. Yeah, you are. I'm set this in the window so. Did you just say window seal? You call it window seal, so let's. You said window. All right. Oh, it's going off. Of it's going it's off. On the doll. Of course. It's always got to be the doll. Now, if that chair started rocking, I don't know what I would do. Oh, I was saying E or A. Down yes. Oh, wow. Wait. Yeah, wait. Who named the doll? Sarah. Sarah Bixby. It's her doll. Oh, wait. The little kid. No. Okay. Yeah. Because the one who passed yeah. away was an infant, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So she is the original doll. Her face has been replaced. Okay. <sighs> Look at the hands. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, no. Would, would you be able to set off that cat ball again? If you do, we can uh, set down our doll that oh, we yeah. brought for you to talk to. His name is Boo Buddy. Amanda's holding him right now. He's a teddy bear. It's okay, we'll set down Boo Buddy anyway. Alright, Boo Buddy. Is he out all the way? He should be, but I didn't even hear him click. I didn't either. Boo Buddy's in rough shape. <laughs> Boo Buddy. I know. Boo Buddy's going through it. Yeah, this is it. Ooh. Ooh. 
You guys just heard me actively kill Boo Buddy. <laughs> He's not Oh, there he goes. Okay. Boo Buddy, <laughs> Boo -Buddy please. Okay. Hi, Hi, Boo Buddy. Hi, I'm Boo Buddy. What's your name? I'm Aki. So I'm Amanda. What's your name? Can you tell Boo Buddy what your name is? Could you set off the doll or the cat ball on Elizabeth's lap now that we've set down Boo Buddy? Or could you uh, say something into Boo Buddy's area? Touch him or I hate you. <laughs> I hate myself! <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that back in my own ears. Could you say something around Boo Buddy? Say something to him? Touch him perhaps? Give him a little shake. Can you tell me what 2 plus 2 is? 4. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Steals the spotlight. <laughs> but let's put the rum pot in there. <laughs> the little girl's like, aww. Wait, maybe that's... Yeah. Can you step away from that device that Matthew just set down? Just for a second? Okay. Okay. I literally won't even set my foot down. That's how I know. Well, when it started, that I was like, "Oh no, I haven't moved at all." Do you know how to communicate through knocks? Could you try, or even whispering? Can you try knocking or whispering for us? We'll give you fifteen seconds. Can you make a noise for me, bro? Can you make a noise for me? So. Should we set this up or no? Oh yeah, I'm super down. I'm just gonna set this on the pillow. You can set it right there too, where? on the iron. Oh. Where it won't bother anything. You bother me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm feeling yeah. super aggressive today. You're bothersome. Can you touch my Oh. Something just touched this. The fact that we have to put all of that in because something just touched me, buddy. It just looked like someone was behind us in the doorway, too. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Can you go near Boo Buddy again or any of our other devices? Okay. What? Did you say something? Can you please say it again? Flashlight went off also. Oh. Or I turned on. I swear I heard whatever it heard. It's like, Was that you whispering? Flash it's off. Would you like to try to communicate with us through this radio in my hand? You'll be able to talk into it and we'll be able to hear your voice. If that's something you're interested in trying or would like to try. Do you have a favorite song? Can you set off a radio song? Maybe turn the flashlight on or cap ball. Five, Five four, three, three, two, one. I didn't touch it. I know, I, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw it. Okay, maybe we counted too fast, but... Okay, I'll turn it on. Mm -hmm. Is that Cinco? Oh. Hello? Hey, babe. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Maddie? Could you tell us uh, the name of the I'm place that we're you. at? Shut up. Shut up. Did it say like this? Oh, whoa. Can you say that one more time? Right. B. 
Bixby, it's what a Bixby. Mean? What do you mean, Bixby? Oh. Oh. Is your you last name Bixby? Can you trigger any of our devices? Or turn off that flashlight if your last name is Bixby? It's a Matthew. It did. Fully. I'm not. It's her. It's off. Me. Wait. Wait, Lily. Can you tell us uh, how many people are in here with us? What do you? It's stairs. Where are you? Quattro. Can you say the name of this Adobe home that we're in? Wait, Sarah. Is the little girl saying Sarah? Yeah, it's just said Sarah. I think it is. <gasps> oh my god, he's holding it. Somebody's oh holding it. And it said Sarah. Yeah. Is, is Sarah here with us? Can you set off any of our other devices also? <gasps> yes, flashlight went off. Oh my god. And that said yes. Sarah, is this your doll, Elizabeth? It's just a Dylan. Sarah, do you like to hang out in this bedroom still? Do you like how they've decorated it for a kid? Yeah. Teenager. Teenager. And how I said I saw them as an yes, older yes. I hope that's on camera they were recording. Yay. Are you coming through as a little bit older? <gasps> oh, oh, just sit out all day for those of you who couldn't hear. Oh, oh, oh. Can you say your age? I just went on and off. I just, I just I was looking for an age. It looked like there was just an orb going around the antenna right there. Can you make that REM pod go off if you're just circling around it? Make a beep. Could you say the name of your doll? I'm Maria. Could you say the name one more time? Is it Liz? Do they start to finish? Do you like our doll? Let me think of that. Can you go near it? Radio. Can you touch the ball in Elizabeth's lap if you like our doll also? The feathers are moving on your hat. Yeah, they are. There's no windows open in this room. Are you touching the feathers on Elizabeth's hat? It's like Lizzie. Sit here. Hey guys. Hi. We're going to head downstairs pretty soon. Would you come into the library with us? Will you turn on any of our devices and you'll come down with the flashlight? Mm -hmm. Do you like that they put your picture up here? Can you turn off our flashlight if you appreciate that? Off. It's off. But you said you want a story? Yeah, it did. We're gonna go down to the library where all the books are. You can tell us a story down there. Trigger one of our devices one more time and then we're gonna head down. We'll know you're coming with us. Give you 15 last seconds.
Go ahead. Five, four, <laughs> flashlight. All right, here we go. We'll see you down there, okay? What did that say? I don't know. See it so, so long, long maybe? So long, that's... Okay. That was crazy. Look how realistic these grapes look. <laughs> right? Impressive. Out of everything in the house, that's what you pick out. <laughs> oh, okay. Um... I have the name of the daughter that passed. Yeah. Wanted. Yeah. What is um, it? Margaret. Margaret. But they call her Maggie. We we heard his name. We Maggie. got that name earlier. Hi. What's your name? Maddie. Wait. Why did I think her name was Sarah? Because Sarah was her cousin. Who wrote the book? Who wrote the book? Yes. The doll, and Maggie was the one that passed. So they were both passed, but it definitely said Maddie or Maggie. Or yes, it said one of the two. That's crazy. One Thank you. Yes. Oh. Wow. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. <laughs> just, okay. I just put the battery in and hit record. I was walking back inside right now, and I was just walking in, and I heard her girl's voice go, "Yay!" And she goes, "Did she just whisper?" Yes. I'm like, no. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. I asked you if you whispered. It was like right behind me. Hey. That was my Mackie impression. Did you just whisper? Did you just whisper? Uh -huh. Alright, into the library we go. Okay, so we have two cat balls, one under each of your pictures. Round pot in the middle of the table. Fly Flashlight's off and oh. rolling away. Oh, oh my god. What? Could that have... There's no way. There's no way. I'm gonna try it again. I think it's stolen. That's crazy. And it would have started rolling the second I walked in. No, and like I just tapped it, so it. Could you turn that flashlight off? If that was something that pushed our flashlight across the table. Oh, that's the table that got pushed. Okay. That's the table that got pushed. We're setting one more device on the table. It's called a REM pod. Are you from? You might be familiar with it. We've been using it in the house all night. If you are, can you step away from it, please? Okay. <laughs> Wait, can you turn that flashlight off, please? That was pretty immediate. That was okay. so immediate. All right, so rumor has it, this is not a confirmed story, but it is a rumor that Around in the 90s, they, some employees or some people, I don't know, this is just a rumor, but they heard this place was haunted and had been experiencing some things, so they decided to hold a seance in this room because seances were cool at the time, that's what everyone did. They're still cool. They're still cool, yeah. <laughs> and, and they, they were very popular back then. Where did they hold it? Right here at this very table. This giant uh -huh. oak wood it's, table? And this is an original table from way back in the day. So this is this has been in the house. And so they did the seance at this table. It was all women, except there was one. Really? Yeah, huh. there was one man here. And the spirit started asking the people about buried treasure. <gasps> buried? Oh, I completely forgot about this. Sorry for everyone yes. who I just made oh completely God, seasick. It's buried. Yes, a spirits are buried to us about buried treasure. If I'm getting this wrong, I'll try to make it accurate, but no one knew about what the spirits were asking, and so they started to get frustrated. The table moved a little bit towards him, and then all of a sudden the table full on gets pushed, and I, it used to be right here. The table got pushed all the way back up where Amanda was standing and pinned him against the wall. This table that is, I'm not going to touch it or anything because it's, I don't want to move Here, it. Here, I'll try and push it. It is, I cannot. It is solid. Like there's, I've tried to lift this with all my might before. It feels like it's screwed down, flashlight, screwed down, cemented into the foundation. Like this table. You hear that? Someone's sitting, yeah, somebody just walked in and someone's sitting at the table with us. Hello. Do you want us to have a little mini seance at this table? Turn off that flashlight or turn on any of the cat balls if you'd like us to sit down and talk to you at this table. Give you 15 seconds.
to sit down and talk to you at this table. Give you 15 seconds. sit down and talk to you at this table. Give you 15 seconds. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. All the way off. You can do it. Take energy from our light to turn off that light. Almost there. You got this. It's off. Okay. <sighs> Alright, I think that means they want us to try to talk to them. Do you recognize what the spirit box is? Flashlight. What if we put, but we put the spirit box on out loud so everyone could hear it, and then we put me under noise cancelling headphones hooked up to zilch, so the only thing I'm hearing is not even your questions, just the entities. And everybody can hear the spirit box. Flashlight. Are you, you serious? Just look over there. Yes. I was looking at someone next to it. Are Do you, you not remember the M and A method? Yeah, I forgot. Which is the exact same thing of what you just said. Okay. <laughs> I said anything. All right. Sorry about her, everyone. Can you turn on the cat balls, just to show that you're ready to talk? Three, two, one. Okay, that works too. Okay. Someone's in here with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But is that the first time that's gone off since? Yeah. That's weird. I'm just gonna grab the music box for fun and see if anything happens. Me here in the dark. <laughs> I was so afraid. I looked up and looked at the time. Sorry, 1032. Oh my god, I didn't even have to look. Oh my gosh. Did you see what time it was? Yes, I said 1032 oh, and I didn't even have to look. I just have my little headphones. You're a hater. Okay. I'm into this. And that was not you. That was not me. I didn't touch it. <laughs> let's go. It said let's go on here. And this is going off too. Are you ready right. to start? Oh my god. I'm setting Get up this just turned on too. What? Get your something going. Okay, I'm trying to. Hold on, please. This is 100% not me setting it off, by the way. Okay. Alright. We officially are set up and ready to talk to you. So since... Ooh, there's a woman that said something like, I can't believe it. So I'm just going to shut my mouth and go under. Okay. I'm really nervous that some, like, something bad is going to go wrong quickly. Like, Why? I don't know, you're going to get freaked out quickly or something negative. Me? Come, no, like, it's because something negative comes through quickly. Uh-huh. That's the case, like, I don't know, maybe just flash, like, turn the light up super bright and then down and then up. Like, okay. don't touch me, just flash it. Cause oh, you don't want to get scared or startled? I okay. Don't get scared. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh. The second. I know everyone heard that. Who just walked in here with us? Yeah, Nan's voice. Welcome. Also, there are two flashlights sitting on the table in front of Amanda. The You're scared. I'm not scared. Amanda was a little scared, though, about being startled. There's two flashlights in front of Amanda. A pink one and a red one. Yep, that's the red one right there. That is going to be yes. And the pink one next to it is going... No. The red one is going to be no. Right. Okay. And the pink one is going to be okay. yes. 
Do you understand? Flashlight turned on. And it was Spanish. Okay. It sounded like Entiendo. All right. Did you walk in the room from behind me over there? All right, there, there goes the no pink one. Flash. Yes. What's no, your name? There'll be no one. Can you turn off both those flashlights? Off, 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 oh. off ramp or off again or off? Yep, all the way off. Wait, I'm in the middle to manipulate. Do you know where we are right now? Can you say the location of where we are, or... So why would you trust anyone, but... Alright, forget all that. Are you part of the Bixby family? No. I said no. There's so oh much Oh my god, there's so much noise through. over here. I'm just listening to the creaking right now. Do you know... One. I have the music box set up right where the table is pushed. Do you know anything about the seance that was held here? If that's true? Oh my gosh. Something in the 70s and 80s. Okay. I don't know... I don't know if the seance was in the 70s, 80s, or 90s. I said 90s, but I'm gonna have to... Okay, was it the 70s? Twist things? Was something twisted about that story? Do you know if there was a seance here? Were you involved in it if there was? Stay here. Something was just right next to me. Now keep going. Okay. <laughs> you turned the yeah. light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it even making sense? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Was... Do you, were you curious about buried treasure here? Yes. So that was you. Do you believe that there's buried treasure here on this property? Oh my god. What the fuck? Did you not like... Why... Uh, Okay, I was going to say, do you not like men? He said no, <laughs> because it pushed a man, a man against the wall, apparently. Well, but there was something so clear in a man's voice, but I can't Oh my god! Out. That's what I was just saying. Are you one of these men here on the walls? Are you one of them? You're a moron. <laughs> Me? After the past... It's so cold right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we just want to find out answers and talk to you. I'm going to ask some questions about the family. Maybe hurry. Okay. Do you can do it. Do you like having so many people come through this house? Do you enjoy it? Something's touching my leg. Yes. Oh. oh, one said no, one said yes. Tour. No. Tour. Yes. It's literally the flashlight saying no. You're a show? It's a show? You think that you're a show? People come because they love your Honor home so much. people. You can... Are there how many spirits are here with us right now? TNS Moss. Eight. Eight spirits. Are there eight spirits here with us right now? Yes or no? No. Oh, oh my Joe. god, oh my god. There was such a loud banging. Oh my god. Scribe. Scribe. Sorry. Doesn't scribing, like, mean drawing? Yes, that? yes. That just sucks, I don't have a pen. Oh my gosh. They are saying. 
are you can you tell us what you're doing here why what's your reason for being servant. what servant did I say servant there's something next to me oh my god oh my god oh my god the light just turned off the light just turned off our light just turned off what? Oh, everything's going off. The second I turned the light back on, the REM pod stopped. That scared me. Oh my god. Do you think I didn't like that I repeated th that? Hold on, I'm restarting this. Turned off the second I restarted it. Do you think it didn't like that I used that S word? Maybe. I don't know. Oh my god. That has hours of time left. I know. Oh my god, it's okay. Like 10 minutes? It feels like it's been 20. Yeah. Is any of it making sense? Yes. I feel like somebody's trying to have a full conversation. Oh. It's also so know. much colder in here. It's It's gotten so much colder from when we started. There's no way this light turned on the second, or turned off the second it turned off, the music box and the REM pod turned on and all the flashlights. Oh, the REM pod? Really? Yes. Have they been going? I feel like the flashlights have been because there are some points where I'm looking down and I can see the flashlights going off a little bit. Oh, like, my eyes are open yeah. at some points. But, um. Oh my gosh, the flashlight's off now. Has the REM pod gone off at all? It went off. I don't think so. Other than when I had my headphones off. I think that was the only time. That's so scary. As soon as the light went off, I'm like, oh, she's trying to get me out of it. That was no, scary. that was not me. I keep hearing someone behind me, so I'm trying to see if the camera would pick it up. It's making sense, though. Yes. I feel like someone's trying to have a full conversation, full sentence. Yes. It's a little confusing, though. Yeah. It's well, it's just lot, like, I don't... A lot coming through, so I'm like... I don't know exactly, like, what to ask, because we already know the family's here. You started talking about servants, so I wonder if it was, like, the Chinese staff. I've, seen a lot, I've been seeing a lot of workers here, for sure. Okay. Okay, are you still here with me? Still here. Oh my god. Here. I'll okay. Distracted. Okay. Can you tell me why you're here? Feel welcome. Oh. You guys you feel, better not. You feel welcome here? Well, you are welcome here. This is your home. Hopefully. We're welcome here right now. Oh my gosh, wait. Can you please make that stop for a second? Ochos said eight so many times. It sounded like someone was just stomping above us. In front of you. Oh my god. Give me chills. Do you know how hard this is? What's hard? Talking? Is it taking a lot of energy to talk yes, to us? for the first time. Okay, well, we're almost done here. You won't have to talk much longer. Is there anything specific you'd like us to know before we left? No. Uh... That wasn't me. That was what okay. said. You can take some, a few seconds, think if there's anything you'd like. Los Angeles. Yes, we are by Los Angeles. Actually, we are in Los Angeles County right now. If you're done talking to us, if you're getting tired, can you give me a sign? You're using us. We're not using you. We're just trying to talk and find out some stuff I about can't. you. Will you give me a sign if you're getting tired or you don't want to talk anymore? Gosh. My freaking hand's cramping. Ugh, that's so weird. It's getting all hot. Lights? Yeah, the lights are right here. You can drain or take energy from our light right here. If that makes it easier for you to talk more, but <gasps> oh my god, Wait, did she just say I'm done, Amanda? 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 It just turned off the light again. Did you say I'm done? Is it's that the last not, thing you said? I'm done. Okay, we need to be done then. Really? The light just turned off again, and I said you can take energy from our light, and then the second said I'm done, the light turned off. I literally think I had my hand in the frame. We're done. Oh, we're okay. Done. Okay. okay. All right, we'll be done. I swear, I think my hand was in the, fr the frame because my hand started to get really hot and started cramping. It turned off right then. Okay, okay. All right, we got to be done. That was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. And the stuff you were saying, that was me. I touched the antenna. 
Okay, we're gonna finish packing up and then we'll pick this up. Oh my gosh. The get stuff? That room was the best room. The library? Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, it was insane. It was uh, crazy. So I texted um, our education coordinator. She like grew up volunteering for mm-hmm. and so she had more deets on Maggie. Um, so she died of diphtheria yeah. and then of course. Our education coordinator let me know that um, Maggie did die in 1878 of um, diphtheria and she was briefly buried on the property. Oh, <gasps> it kept That's saying that. that. Buried. buried. You buried, wow. yeah. What's diphtheria? Do yeah. You know? uh, isn't that, it's like a respiratory thing. No, it's oh my god. Eyes. Died like that. Okay. Everything you're saying is like what we got, and we didn't know any of that, so it's just crazy. Okay, well, that's gonna wrap up tonight's investigation. That was a crazy ending. It like, were, I can't even, the, one of the craziest. I'm so excited to watch it back because mm-hmm. being under, I only have like what you told me. Yeah. But I feel like the answers that we got really matched up with the history of this place. So that was pretty amazing. I agree. Um, this place is definitely haunted. Heck and yeah. And even better, it's open to the public. Yes. Wednesday through Sunday, mm-hmm. right? And it's completely free to come visit. It's a historic site, so donations are appreciated. The link for the website will be in the description below, but it is ranchoslosaritos.org. Yeah. And come check it out for yourself. There's, I feel like there's definitely only positive things here. Everything's oh, yeah. really welcoming, so come check it out for yourself. <laughs> A few final announcements. We do still have Spooktober merch up, but it won't be up for much longer. No. Only uh, Spooktober. Only October. Spooktober. <laughs> so get it while you can. So definitely do, and happy Spooktober, everyone. <laughs> but Definitely yeah. hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.